How does this stack up in terms of the challenges that uh, America has overcome in the past? Uh, very good question. I, I, it's the one I, I do feel comfortable because I am a systems engineer. I've studied this in uh, uh, projects that have done well, projects that have not done well, um, projects that have extend themselves too far at, in a technology way, et cetera. I feel very comfortable that actually the lift of technology is uh, less daunting than some of the other things that we're working on uh, or that the, the government has uh, in the past given me a chance to go look at and say, you know, figure out how to do this. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, you're pressing the limits of, of the technology and of, of uh, the actual physics. Lifter is actually not doing that. Lifter is not pressing the technology limits, uh, material limits, or um, going into unknown physics. It's pretty solid. So what you're trying to do is make it practical and make it uh, reasonable that you can assume that you're processing um, everyone the same and that they do have that same quality going out the factory. Uh, it's a difficult job, but again, you have to have the same quality going out with aircraft. You don't want 300 people uh, in an aircraft that's uh, structurally unsound. So you have to, you, there are ways to do that. It is expensive. That's an expensive factory and an expensive process to prove that when you built it, it is what it is. Uh, it, it is what you said it would be. That's expensive. They do it with planes. They have to take planes. They have to uh, go through uh, many, many flights to show all kinds of contingencies, as we do with all reactors. 